What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to create and save material collections inside of SketchUp. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this is actually something we discussed on one of our live calls in the SketchUp Essentials course earlier this week. That's basically a place where course members can come ask questions. Um, and this is one of the questions that was asked and I thought there would be some value in talking about this. If you do wanna get some help with SketchUp, including step-by-step -step instruction and being able to jump on those live calls, I will link to the course in the notes down below. But basically what I wanted to talk about today is I wanted to talk about the ability to take materials like these, which are custom textures that I've downloaded from external sources. I wanna talk about how you can save them into folders and then access the folders using the material browser on your PC. Note that this is a PC tutorial. The Mac material handler is different. So this probably isn't gonna help be super helpful for you if you're using a Mac. But what I wanna do is I wanna take these four materials and I wanna save them as SketchUp materials. So what I've done is I've basically taken materials that I've downloaded from various places. So in this case, for example, these are material maps that I've downloaded from Texture Haven. Um, but you can see how this one right here is a color map for an object. What I've done is I've just taken this material um, or this image file and I've just dragged it into SketchUp like this. So once I've done that, it's in SketchUp and I can just kind of scale it down. Then I can right click on it and explode it. As soon as I explode it, all of these images are now contained inside of SketchUp um, and you can find them and you can save them as SketchUp materials. So, um, for example, I now have five materials in here and I can find all of those materials by going into the in model section of the material section of my tray. So if I click on in model, you can see how those materials are going to show up on this list. Well, what I wanna do is I wanna take these five materials, I wanna save them as custom SketchUp materials that I can access later, and then I wanna add that collection to my drop down right here so that I can access these materials really quickly. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to name all of these. And usually I recommend when you're doing this um, that you describe them with something um, that's gonna help you recognize them. So you do get a little swatch in here that you can see, but I do like to be a little bit consistent with my naming. So this one, for example, I might call bricks underscore rough red, something like that. This one, which I would select, I would call bricks underscore red and white. So I'm gonna go through and name these real quick and then we'll take them and save them as SketchUp materials. And the reason I name these this way, by the way, is I like to name them with the type of material first because most programs will sort them alphabetically. So if I name them bricks and then underscore with a description, all of the brick items will be organized together. In addition, if I name like stone and then I put a description after that, then all the stone items will be grouped together. So notice how now, if I mouse over these, each one of these materials in the in model section of my uh, tray over here has a description on it. Well, now what we want to do is we want to save those as SketchUp files. We do already have the maps in our assets folder, but the maps don't really help us because they're not technically SketchUp materials, right? You'll use the maps for like your rendering software, but um, we're going to want to save these specifically as SketchUp materials for fast access later. And so the way that we want to do that is for each one of these, we want to right click on it, click on the option for save as. What that's gonna allow us to do is that's gonna allow us to save this as a SketchUp material file, an SKM. That means that SketchUp can easily import it and use it later as a material. You can save things like material sizes, other things like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go find the location that we wanna save our asset. For me, I have a folder where I save all of my assets. I keep it on an external drive. Um, everybody kind of does this a little bit different. You might keep it in the cloud on like OneDrive or um, Dropbox or something like that, or you might keep it on your hard drive. It just kind of depends. But I have a folder for materials. And then within that folder, I also have a folder in here for SketchUp materials. I've noted that that means they have no maps, meaning they're not rendering materials, they're just SketchUp materials that I can bring in here. And specifically, I have a folder for custom materials. Within those folders, I like to break my materials out by type. So in this case, for example, I want to save this as bricks, rough, red, dark in my brick folder. So I'm going to do a save and I'm going to do that for all of these materials. And so now if you look inside that folder, I have all of these different SketchUp material files 
right here. And so what we want to do though is we want to actually see this folder inside of our material manager on the right hand side of the page. And so in this case, what we want to do is we want to click the little drop down right here for open and select the option for open or create a collection. When you do that, what that's going to allow you to do is that's going to allow you to go select a folder. Well, in this situation, I want to go into my custom materials folder and I want to select my brick folder. Notice how I can select that folder and what that's going to do is that's going to add that into my list of folders that I can access right here. So now what I can do is I can pick any of those materials and I can apply them to a surface inside of SketchUp. And notice how like this one, for example, I probably should have resized it a little bit, but that's okay for what we're trying to do right now. But notice how for each one of these, I can take them and apply them to this surface right here. And so another thing you could do is if you click on this little button right here, it's going to give you a secondary drop down down below. So what that means is that means that you can actually have your materials section up right here. So if I go to my in model right here, I can have this open. And then down below, I can also have a folder open, right? So it's basically like a second window for this. Well, if I click on the drop down right here and add that brick collection to it, again, I can access that and I can actually drag materials into that folder now that I have it added. So let's say I added another material in here. So in this case, I'm just gonna drag this medieval wall material right here into my model. I'm just gonna right click and I'm gonna explode it. Now, if I look in my in model section, I can find that material in here. Well, what I wanna do is I wanna rename this. I wanna rename it stone underscore medieval wall. I might call it, I might add the word stacked in here. But now what I can do is I can take this material and I can drag it into my folder right here. So instead of me having to do a right click save as, what that's gonna do is that's gonna save a copy of that material into that brick folder. So if I go look in that folder, that's saved a copy of that inside of that folder without me having to do a right click save as. So you can use this secondary window um, in order to open up a folder and then drag materials into it without having to do a right click save as, which can be a huge time saver. All right, so leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions. If you are interested in learning SketchUp more in depth, I do recommend you check out the course. That's really my step-by-step in-depth training for people that wanna learn how to use SketchUp. Um, I'm there to help out students. They can ask me questions um, as well as going through all the different training. It's just a great place to learn SketchUp. So if you're interested in that, I will link to that on this page. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.